Qatar and the Israel-Hamas negotiations. Hello and welcome. I'm Afmea Yalev and this is News Analytica. The Israel-Hamas war that is now in its 10th month has resulted in massive human casualties for Palestinian people in Gaza and a dire humanitarian crisis. There have been multiple calls for a ceasefire and humanitarian pauses amidst the war, but none of them have been successful. In a rare positive development, a new diplomatic push to broker peace and secure hostage release has been started by Qatar. Doha has emerged as a pivotal mediator in these negotiations, leveraging its unique position and relationships within the region to facilitate dialogue between the conflicting parties. Today's news analysis explores Qatar's role in the ongoing Israel-Hamas negotiations. Stay with us. The current episode of the Israel-Hamas war erupted on October 7 after Hamas launched a significant cross-border attack on Israel, resulting in the death of around 1,400 Israelis and kidnapping of more than 230 hostages. In retaliation, Israel launched intensified airstrikes and large ground operations in Gaza that led to the death of more than 38,000 people and the injury of around 87,000 people and the displacement of millions. Concerned by the disastrous effects of the war, there have been calls by the international community for a ceasefire and mediation. However, there is no still consensus as to what kind of political settlement could follow a ceasefire and negotiations. In the face of many diplomatic failures to stop the war, one tiny and energy-rich state in the Middle East, Qatar, has been involved in diplomatic efforts involving the two warring parties. Qatar has long been a key player in Middle Eastern diplomacy, often acting as a trusted mediator in conflicts including between Israel and Palestinian organizations. It is also one of the first Arab Gulf states to establish ties with Israel, as well as serving as a residence to senior Hamas leaders in exile, such as Khalid Mashal and Ismail Hani. Its involvement in the Israel-Hamas negotiations has served as a critical channel of communication between the two sides and Western powers. Qatar's ability to engage with Hamas, considered as a terrorist organization by many Western countries, including the United States and the European Union, gives it a privileged position to influence Hamas's decisions. Since the start of the war, Doha has been involved in managing negotiations focused on the release of hostages. Reports indicate that Qatari pressure has been behind the decision by Hamas to agree to hostage release from Hamas captivity. It also facilitated a negotiation that secured a way out for foreigners trapped in Gaza to leave. Doha has also helped the transfer of dozens of Palestinians wounded in the war to Egypt and their treatment cost. And it is now expected to pressure Hamas to agree to a ceasefire with Israel. Despite these efforts, the negotiations remain fraught with difficulties. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has expressed skepticism about the potential outcomes emphasizing that any ceasefire must be contingent on the release of hostages. This position underscores the complexities of the negotiations, where humanitarian concerns intersect with broader political and security considerations. Qatar's diplomatic role in the Israel-Hamas negotiations has various benefits for the tiny Middle Eastern nation. For Qatar, mediating the Israel-Hamas negotiations is part of its broader strategic calculation. By positioning itself as a mediator, Doha enhances its diplomatic standing and influence in the region. Its role in these negotiations aligns with its broader foreign policy objectives of being a key diplomatic player and gives it a seat at the table when it comes to the stability in the Middle East. Moreover, Qatar's involvement in the negotiations is a reflection of its humanitarian commitments. By facilitating dialogue and pushing for the release of hostages, Qatar aims to mitigate the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Doha's role in mediating between Hamas and Israel is a continuation of its diplomatic cloud in the Gulf region. Qatar was instrumental in evacuating American service members and refugees from Afghanistan two years ago after the country was taken over by the Taliban. It also has hosted U.S. Taliban peace talks and helped free Western hostages held by extremist groups in Syria. It is recalled that on March 10th of 2022, the U.S. President designated the state of Qatar as the major non-NATO ally of the United States. In general, Qatar's effort to mediate between Israel and Hamas comes at a time when the humanitarian crisis is at the verge of further catastrophe and multiple efforts in the last few months at reaching a ceasefire have failed. 
When significant challenges remain, the progress made under Qatari mediation offers a glimmer of hope for potential resolution. That is all for today's news analysis. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analysis.